Hey guys, welcome to another episode here at Transform Your Body TV. My name is Paul, and on today's episode, we're going to talk about vegan weight loss, losing weight by becoming a vegan. Now, in case you don't know what that means, we'll go through what vegan is first, and we'll go through some of the weight loss stuff. So, first of all, abstaining from the consumption of meat is a vegetarian. If you add on to that, and animal products, also animal derived substances, such as uh, meat, cheese, eggs, that kind of thing, then you become a vegan. And so you're not just abstaining from eating meat, but also anything that gets produced by any animals. Now, many people do that for different reasons. Some of the reasons why people might become a vegan, apart from weight loss, is uh, things like unethical killings, you know, treatment of animals, animal welfare, health, a lot of animals hold diseases, and uh, energy from a karma point of view. Um, a lot of people believe that when an uh, animal gets killed, there's a very distressing time, of course, and that energy, that distressed energy from an animal has got to go somewhere. So because energy can't be destroyed or created, that energy's got to move into a different place. Many of it believe it's into the food. Uh, and so that is some of the reasons why people become a vegan and choose to not eat anything from an animal or the animal itself. But also there's the weight loss aspect as well. Can you lose more weight by becoming a vegan? Now the answer is yes, really, and for a few different reasons. The first one is that there's automatically fewer calories. As you see here, a little example, there's 34 calories in, in 100 grams of broccoli and 219 calories in 100 grams of chicken. So, I mean, that's seven times as much as the broccoli for the same amount of food. And so just from that, you see that it's automatically fewer calories by having the vegan option rather than the meat eaters option. Next, there's less bad fats. Now, it's not necessarily fat that makes you fat, but because there's higher calories in fat than in carbs and protein, an increased amount of fat is going to mean you're probably your weight gain. And so the lower amount of calories from fruits and vegetables than in something like chicken or other meats or uh, animal-derived products is going to mean weight loss for you. And also from a health perspective, a lot of the man-made foods created nowadays won't be involved in this either. And so because you'll be cutting a lot of that out and sticking to more natural foods that are produced by the earth and by the planet, you're going to equal more weight loss as well. And finally, the method of food preparation. Now, a lot of meat is cooked in fat. A lot of people cook meat in fat. Uh, even if you don't cook it in fat, it's kind of cooking its own juices, which is a lot of fat as well, generally, depending on the type of meat, compared to fruits and vegetables, which are usually eaten raw or you know, steamed if they're vegetables, generally. And so these three reasons are going to be some of the main reasons why becoming a vegan is, can equal massive weight loss compared to the diet you're possibly on now, eating meat and other animal-derived substances. Now, can you lose weight by not being a vegan? Of course. You know, you're going to have to cut out certain things and um, certain animal-derived substances like milk and cheese may be part of that, but you don't need to become a vegan in order to lose weight. It's just a very good option to probably make you healthier and to almost guarantee that you are going to lose weight. Because if you're struggling to lose weight and you can't figure out why and you don't really know what's wrong with your diet, switching over to a vegan diet is probably going to give you very, very good weight loss benefits and give you a little boost that you might need to get you on your weight loss journey. So I hope that gives you more information on why um, becoming a vegan might be the way to go if you're looking to lose weight. Not necessarily for the rest of your life, but for a little uh, period of time. But don't forget to like the video if you do like it, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.